Hi, I'm Harry Campbell from Biofeedback Resources, and I'd like to demonstrate for you a very inexpensive uh, biofeedback device called the SC911 Digital Temperature. Uh, it also is sometimes called the stress meter. Um, temperature is something that can be measured to indicate changes in the level of stress or relaxation in a person. Usually when a person is more relaxed, their hand temperature is going to be warmer or higher because the blood vessels in the hands will open up or dilate uh, when the person is more relaxed. There are actually smooth muscles in the blood vessels that will relax when a person relaxes and therefore the opening in the blood vessels will be wider so more blood gets through to the hands and the hands become warmer. When a person becomes stressed, then the hand temperature usually will decrease because the blood vessels will become smaller as the muscles in the blood vessels tighten, letting less blood in and therefore making the hands cooler. Uh, we use uh, biofeedback instruments to measure these changes and we normally uh, in clinical use in, in a uh, medical office we would use what we would call a clinical grade instrument which is basically a very fancy uh, and very accurate and fast acting or reacting thermometer. Um, the clinical grade instruments are going to be more expensive because the technology to make the uh, temperature react uh, faster is more expensive. Um, but we also have instruments that are used at uh, home, people use at home to practice with, that don't have to be quite as fast um, and uh, they're uh, fine for practicing at home. The SC911 is one of those instruments that, uh, that is uh, intended to be used at home. It uh, gives you temperature changes to a tenth of a degree, which is the minimum that's uh, uh, re recommended for biofeedback training. Uh, because for only seeing whole degree changes, it's not going to be sensitive enough for a person to really tell whether they're increasing or decreasing um, in a sensitive way. So what we usually do is we um, will take a piece of tape and we take the end of the temperature sensor, which we call a thermistor, onto the finger like this. There are different ways to tape it on the finger, but I'm just showing you a quick, simple way. And then the uh, instrument itself is going, going to show the uh, temperature digitally um, to a tenth of a degree on the uh, face of the instrument. So what I'm going to do is just do a close-up of the uh, face of the instrument so you can see that a little better. Okay, now I am retaping the sensor to my finger, and you should be seeing the changes in the uh, temperature on the face of the instrument. So now it's at uh, 89.1 and uh, changing, going up 89.8, 90.1. And it takes uh, about a minute or so to uh, catch up with the actual temperature of my hand. And then after the first minute or so, then it would be showing changes in my hand temperature. So if my hand temperature is um, just stable, then you, you won't see much of a change. Or if I am reacting to stress, then you would probably see the temperature start to drop. If I am relaxing, then you'll probably see the temperature go up. But right now we're seeing about 91.4. and when we're doing um, relaxation training in biofeedback, our goal is to get to about 94 or 95 degrees and an advanced um, technique would uh, require that we maintain that temperature for about 30 minutes if we're deeply relaxing. And some of the applications that um, hand temperature training is helpful with include uh, hypertension, migraine headaches, um, just general stress uh, reduction, Raynaud's, and um, 
even asthma. And now you can see the temperature continues to go up. Now we have 92.3 degrees. And I'm just going to be silent for a minute or so and see if I can make the temperature go up any more by relaxing. That's my cell phone. That's not going to help. Hello? Yeah? I'm at the office. In a little while. What time is it now? Okay. Okay, see you. Bye. Well, that actually was not planned uh, as part of the demonstration, but look at the effect. As I was um, relaxing quietly, so the temperature was going up, and when I got the phone call and talked on the phone, you can see the temperature drop some. And now since the phone call is over and I'm trying to relax again, you can see the temperature starting to go back up again. So let's see if I can uh, get to 94 degrees. Okay, so I made 94 degrees, and what I was doing is just relaxing quietly, my eyes closed, breathing diaphragmatically, and I was able to get up to 94.1 degrees so far. And I think under conditions of doing a demonstration, uh, that's pretty good. I'm not going to push it. <laughs> okay, so that uh, concludes the demonstration of the... SC911 temperature instrument, which can be used at home uh, to practice uh, relaxation. Often people will uh, do their relaxation exercise, whether it's diaphragmatic breathing or meditation or uh, imagery, guided imagery. Um, they might uh, take the temperature sensor on their finger and see what the temperature was at the beginning of their relaxation and see what the temperature uh, was doing as they were doing the relaxation and at the end to see whether the temperature was higher than it was when they started and whether they got to 94 or 90, 95 degrees. And you can keep track of those uh, uh, pieces of information over time to see how your relaxation training is going. If you'd like more information on the SC911 temperature instrument or any other uh, biofeedback instruments or training, um, you can give us a call at our toll-free number, 877-669-6463 or 914-762-4646.
or you can vis visit us on our website, www.biofeedbackinternational.com. Thank you.